Wherefore we labor that whether present or absent we may be accepted of him. The subject of acceptance, of being accepted, especially by our peers or by those whom we admire, is a very real pressure in the world in which we live. C.S. Lewis, in discussing this matter of acceptance, he calls it the inner ring, the inner circle, always trying to get in. He said it's like peeling an onion. If you're successful, there's nothing left but tears. You find another circle that's more inner than you are. And you get in a little bit more and you find there's someone else who's a little more accepted than you are. And so it goes. And men struggle to find this acceptance and they just can't. Indeed, the Bible tells us that in the very beginning, God created man in such a way that he desired to be accepted, to find acceptance with God. And this innate, this built-in desire to be accepted by God has driven man, because he is alienated from God, to seek that acceptance among men. They are joining brotherhoods, societies, elite country clubs, business groups, professional groups, and all sorts of cultural organizations in a desire to be included. Instead of driving men to God, very often drive them away from Him. And they seek to hear the applause of the world. And they can never be satisfied that way. We only are satisfied when we are accepted by God in the Beloved. And he calls us, as he has ever called his people, to put his kingdom first. Not somewhere down the line, when I happen to be able to fit it in. Not the last few minutes of my day or the last few years of my life. But to give him the very best. He ever demanded the best from the flock and the best of the week, the very first, and if we are to seek to please him and to be acceptable to him, we must give him all that we are and have.